You know, in the book of Malachi, God tells one of the greatest characteristics that belong to him. He says in verse 6, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Think if God changed with every whim like we do every day off and on. We'd be dead. We'd be dead ducks. We'd have no chance to be go get with him. But he is consistent. I do not change, he says. Therefore, you people are not consumed. You change so often as flighty people, but I'm the Lord. I do not change. I'd say thank God for that. When I come to him, he hears me because I come sincerely with a need, with a time of praise or a time of asking something I need. But he hears me as a kind, loving father. If you belong to him, you are his child. You are a child of God. It also says in 1 John, God is love. That is a great, great characteristic of him. Our love flitters back and forth, off and on, but his love is consistent. He loves us, uh, even that are unlovable. In human terms, there's many we think unlovable, maybe ourselves to others. But to God, he loves all, and he died for all. And then look down in Malachi 3, 16 and 17. Then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and he heard it. God hears what you and I say to others. Them that fear the Lord, they that fear the Lord, he said. That is, they that are mine, they're, my, they're a Christian, they're a child of God, and they talk one to another. I hear it, God says, and a book of remembrance was written to them, for them that fear the Lord, and they thought upon his name. Do you fear the Lord? Do you ever think upon his name? Or are you so consumed with things of the world? God says, I know you need to make money, you need clothes and food and shelter, but if you put me first, I will add, I will add all these other things unto you. Another book was written, the book of remembrance. And these people written in it were those who feared the Lord and talk often about him. And God hears it. What you and I talk about to others, my God hears it. He knows you back and forward. He knows me back and forward, and he still loves me. He still loves you. The remembrance is written for those that feared the Lord and speak often about his name. Speak often of one another and praise and glory unto him. And God says, they shall be mine. Isn't that something? You and I can be God's treasure. They shall be mine, he says, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts. When I make up my jewels, that means my special treasure, I will spare them. I will spare them just like a son of his father who serves him. I will do this, said the Lord. I'm the Lord. I do not change. He is ever loving, ever kind. All of us sometimes change ourselves. Now, we make less change the more we come to Christ and have made a big change in our life. We become more consistent and faithful unto our dear Lord who loves us so much. But here's God. They that feared the Lord, they talked to each other about things. And God says, I, listened, I heard it. And a book of remembrance is written and they, these faithful ones, their names are written in that book. And when I make up my jewels, I will not spare them like a father does not spare his own child. This God cares so much for me. And this God 
cares so much for you. Are you aware at all how much he loves you? How much he really does care? That you and I were precious in his sight. Like I've said many times, I'm special in his sight, but I'm no more special than anyone else. But most of you have probably never known or been aware God loves you. He doesn't want you to continue in the own, your own sinful life that just leads to death and destruction and separation from him. He wants you as his own. He, he just said that. I love you and I want you as my own. So out there today, please, please surrender your heart unto Jesus. Give him all your cares and your burdens and your sins. Confess them and say, Lord, I want no more part in them. I want a part in you. I want you to come in and save me right now and cleanse me and wash me in your precious blood that I shall be whiter than snow. Let me have this new life I've heard about, O oh Lord, but I know nothing about firsthand, but right now, I want Jesus firsthand to come in and take over my life. And thank you, since I've asked sincerely, thank you for doing that. Thank you for bringing me peace where I've had confusion and chaos all during my life. I want the wonderful peace that comes from a surrendered life to you. Now, Lord, bless me each day as I read some of your word. As I open your word, teach me what it says. Let me not go in to try to prove something, but let me just learn as a child what the Bible says. And as I learn it, give me the power and strength to live just that way. Thank you, Jesus for saving me, for hearing me, for paying attention to me. Thank you. In your holy and precious name I pray.